millions of Chinese tourists are going on holiday again. Many of them are headed for Thailand, Thailand's golden beaches, shopping districts and ornate temples are filling with tourists once again and Chinese vacationers are getting an especially VIP welcome under a new visa-free scheme, vowing to revive the country's economy. Newly appointed Prime Minister Shretha Thavisan announced a visa-free policy for Chinese and Kazakh tourists that would run from September 25 to February 24 next year, signaling that the recovery of Thailand's tourism industry is a top priority. The policy came just in time for China's Golden Week holiday period, which is centered around National Day on October 1. This year's Golden Week coincides with the Mid-Autumn Festival, marking a 10-day travel rush spanning September 29 to October 8. It's also one of the first holiday periods since the COVID-19 pandemic during which people from China can travel without restrictions. Chinese visitors arriving from Shanghai were greeted with gifts, handed out by Shreda and tourism ministers, at Bangkok's airport on Monday as the visa-free policy took effect. We are confident that this scheme will boost the economy substantially, Shreda told reporters. We would like to encourage more visits from Chinese tourists not only at major cities like Chiang Mai, Bangkok, Pattaya and Phuket. He noted that the Thai government hopes to see travelers visit more smaller towns. To lengthen their stay and increase spending, this week's warm welcome was appreciated by Beijing, China's foreign minister Wang Wenbin said in a press conference on Tuesday, China was once the largest source of tourists to Thailand with almost 11 million visitors heading to the Southeast Asia nation in 2019, accounting for more than a fourth of international arrivals before the COVID-19 pandemic plummeted the global tourist market, those numbers are a stark contrast to 2023. Only 2.2 million Chinese travelers arrived between January 